to begin, I am going to take the orange shade from my MAC Pro Conceal Palette um, in the shade Medium Deep. I'm just going to go in with that orange concealer just to put in any areas where I have discoloration. I'm just going to leave it there for the rest of the tutorial because it's pretty much going to kind of cook on my skin so that when I do go in with my foundation, I don't use as much and it doesn't move. For my eyes, I always go in with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and I just do that all over the lid. Then I'm going to go in with another shade by MAC. This is in the shade Soba. It's sort of like a taupey eyeshadow with specks of gold, but you don't see the gold in it once you put it through the crease as you guys are seeing. And I'm just going to use a Sigma E40 brush just to blend that all through the crease. For my brow bone, I'm just going to use a matte shade by Makeup Geek. This one is called Vanilla Bean. And I kind of like to go in with a matte shade first just to kind of set the, con the uh, concealer. And then later on, I'll go in with a highlighter just to highlight the brow bone. Then I'm going to go into my Vice 2 palette and I'm going to go in with a pointed um, crease brush. And I'm going to use the shade Rewind, another taupey brown eyeshadow. Um, and I'm just going to use that through the crease again a little bit lower down and also mostly put in the pigmentation through the um, end of the crease because that's where I want more intensity. So you kind of want to start in the area where you want the most intensity and blend inwards as you guys are seeing that I'm doing here. Just keep blending until it reaches your intensity. I kind of wanted it to be blown out but with more intensity in the end part of the brow. I mean the crease. Then I'm going to go in back with my original blender brush, the E40 from Sigma, and I'm just going to blend those two together. Next I'm going to go in with another Sigma brush. This one is the E45 tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Smoke Out from the same Vice 2 palette. This is sort of like a dark, almost black shade. It does look like it has uh, specks of gold in it as well. But as you guys could see, once you put it in the crease, you don't really see the gold. It looks almost matte. Then I'm going to go in once again with my E40 brush and just blend those two together. For my lid shade, I'm going to use a color from the Urban Rustic Naked Cosmetics <laughs> um, Palette Glitter. It's sort of like a glitter, but it's so finely milled that it's almost coming off as a pigment, but it does have more chunks in it than a pigment. Um, so I'm going to use the one in 01 to put that on the lid. Then I'm going to do a very small winged eyeliner. If you have more lid space, you can do a stronger um, eyeliner. I kind of hate it when my eyeliner takes over from my look. So I just put something on that's very thin that's just going to give my lashes, lashes something to ground to. Um, I'm going to go in with a black shade. This one is Corrupt by Makeup Geek. And you can use any eyeshadows, guys, that you like. These are just the ones that I have been loving lately. Um, and I'm just going to use that to darken more intense, bring more intensity to that end of my crease just to make it more smoky and more dramatic. Um, and the brush that I used there was the E45 by Sigma as well. Then I went in with some lashes. Once again, this is up to your preference. I wanted something dramatic, so I did go in with a lashes that was much thicker and more, you know, wispy. Um, and for my bottom lashes, I did go back in with the um, Corrupt by Makeup Geek and just kind of smoke the bottom lashes more. more. For my inner corner highlight, what I used was a shade in the Vice 2 palette as well called Strike. And I just used that in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten them and bring some light into that area. And here I'm just putting on my foundation. The one that I'm using today is my HD foundation from Makeup Forever. And the shade that I did use here is the shade 170. And I use the um, Bedellium or Dellium 957 brush for my bottom portion, but I did use the Beauty Blender sponge on my forehead because once again, I just didn't want anything to move and I just gently pat the foundation on. It's going to give me the most blendability without moving my products around. 
So that's why I kind of switched to my Beauty Blender for my forehead region because as I told you guys, I just have so much blemishes on there right now so I'm just trying to cover them and totally blank them out. Going back in with my Beauty Blender, I just blend everything in. For my um, highlight under my eyes, I mixed NW35 Pro Conceal in addition to the NC35 shade just to give me the amount of highlighting that I wanted for this particular look. Because the eyes are dark, you do want to make sure that you're highlighting especially under your eyes because it's honestly going to make the eyes pop a bit more and it's just going to give you that flawless complexion that works even better with a look such as this. For my brow bone, this is a more shimmery shade. This one was Makeup Geek's Shimma Shimma. I love that shade for my brow bone and anything else really. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. For my, um, to set my concealed portion of my face, I am going to go in as always with my that palette, the Makeup Forever Contour Palette, I think it's called Sculpt and Contour, something like that. And the shade is in number three. I did use it to highlight as well as contour, the darker part to contour as well. So this is what you guys are seeing here. And the brush that I'm using for that is the Bedellium Tools, again, 942. For my blush, I'm going to go in with another Makeup Geek product. This one is called Love Affair and it's one of her new blushes. This one is a pinky corally shade. It's really pigmented so you guys just be a little bit gentle with that. And what I did was as always, I just go back over it with my foundation brush just to tone the blush down a bit more. And it kind of acts as like a sandwich so that everything stays in place and it just makes all your makeup more long wearing. So what I'm doing there is just contour my nose. I didn't want anything too much, so I just went in with the same brush I used to contour my face, um, just to contour my nose. And I'm doing the same thing here. I just went back in with my Makeup Forever highlighted um, powder, just to give a little bit of highlight to the nose without any shimmer. I didn't feel like putting too much. Okay. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna go in and highlight, and I'm just using a uh, brush from Oh my goodness, it's going so fast. But the highlight that I did use is called Superb. And the blush, um, the brush <laughs> that I used was from what's that company called? Oh my god, I can't remember right now, but I'll put it down below. And uh, for my lips, that's a spiked lip liner from e.l.f. Cosmetics, in addition to pink plaid lipstick from MAC. And then I'm also gonna go over that with Myth lipstick also by MAC just to give it sort of like a ombre -ish look but the pink was a little too dark for me I just wanted a lighter pink so that's what I got from mixing those shades together I hope you guys enjoy this look I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye, -bye.